So we are in the third episode of the fourth season of Better Call Saul. And I was thinking about what we've been presented so far this season in these three episodes, and I realized that Saul is here. Jimmy is no more and only exists in name. Hey, I'm G, and this is the G-Spot. So first, to, to be clear, because, you know, the way we tell the difference between Jimmy and Saul is one's named Jimmy and the other one's named Saul. So why am I saying that, you know, Jimmy's only a name? It has to do with something that Chuck said to Jimmy in season three. And it was when Chuck said to Jimmy, just accept that you hurt everybody around you. And to me, that that is the difference between Jimmy and Saul. Saul is the guy who accepts and is okay with the fact that he hurts people around him. Where Jimmy hurts people, but he feels really badly about it. To me, that is the difference between Jimmy and Saul. You know, Saul doesn't have any compassion. Saul doesn't have sympathy, empathy. Saul is only interested in what he has going on. Now, in this in this third episode, the theme was suffering. Suffering or in distress, like Kim was in distress when she was looking at the models at Mesa Verde. It's all Nacho did throughout the entire episode was suffer his wounds. The printer store owner and how he was suffering in his office. He was suffering through a marriage crisis. Even even the part when Saul goes to the vet, uh, the vet is suffering on that phone call. So it was an episode full of uh, suffering, anguish, distress, and these type of things. But the other thing that they gave us was we got to see how a lot of characters reacted to other people uh, suffering or in distress. So uh, the big example is the Salamanca twins. And we gotta go through episode two and three to not the whole episodes, just their parts to see what they're showing us. In episode two, when Hector Hector is Hector Salamanca is in the hospital, and the twins are looking over him, and the new doctor from Johns Hopkins comes in, and and the doctor ends up telling them, "Look, one of the best things you could do is talk to your uncle." You know, the twins can't be bothered to talk to him. They make Arturo and Nacho uh, do the talking. They they really just can't be bothered. But in this last episode, in the third episode, where Nacho has his injuries, we see the twins helping Nacho. They didn't just leave him in the desert. We see them uh, not only helping Nacho get to the doctor, helping the doctor help Nacho, but by the end, they're actually giving Nacho their blood. This was odd move for the twins. I mean, we don't see them act in these ways. So I kept asking myself, why did we see them not even talk to Hector in the previous episode, but they were helping Nacho in this third episode with the theme of suffering? And I think it was all about comparing and contrasting. And I think what we were comparing and contrasting was uh, everybody to Jimmy because the one person that did not suffer <laughs> was under no distress and felt no sort of sympathy towards anybody through the whole episode is Jimmy. Jimmy's episode began with Mike in the restaurant and Mike is similar to the Salamanca twins, right? Mike's not a guy who shows feelings or emotions. We know Mike has them where the Salamanca twins seem like they're just stone, but but Mike keeps them wrapped up tight. And we saw a lot of concern from Mike towards Jimmy in this restaurant scene. One, he was trying to discourage Jimmy from doing the job. And two, he said, I'm sorry to hear about your brother. Jimmy could have cared less. As soon as he heard Mike say no to the job, which is the only thing he was interested in talking to Mike about, he was out the door and on the phone. He needed to get his next person. We see both the Salamanca twins and Mike being compassionate people in this episode but not Jimmy. And when we got to the end of the episode, Jimmy was presented all these things uh, from Chuck. And again, there was, there was no emotional reaction from him uh, through this. So it's like in times when Jimmy should be suffering, he's not. I mean, when it comes to his brother Chuck, he's not suffering from the loss. And now he's not even suffering from the kick in the face from what he, what he received in the will. He's just totally disconnected. He doesn't care. If we look at how he interacted with the printer shop owner in episode two and the vet in this episode three, Jimmy also has no type of sympathy whatsoever for anybody. He was absolutely disgusted with the printer shop owner owners for hiring him. I mean, he calls them schmucks on the way out. He was infuriated by them. 
and only because he felt that they were being too trustworthy. And then when we see him interact with the vet and the vet's on the phone, again, Jimmy has no time for anything. And when he leaves, his attitude is, learn how to do your job better. He's pretty merciless. After these first three episodes, especially being able to compare Jimmy to characters like the Salamanca twins, to see episodes where these characters are expressing compassion and concern for others, but Jimmy isn't, I think it's quite a big statement. And uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty convinced at this point that Saul Goodman has arrived and Jimmy is only left in name. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to be sure you're alerted every time we upload a video, go ahead, subscribe, ding the bell, and you will be alerted every time we upload a video. If you know anybody else who watches Better Call Saul and would find this video interesting, please go ahead and share it with them. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.